It's okay because the, the minions can also have a type. Yo! Let's go! Yo, what's up, YouTube? Takes everybody, guys, on the Escape from Tarkov guide video. In today's guide video, we're going to be taking a look at my cultist guide that you guys have been asking me for. Now, first of all, before we get into it, cultists are probably one of the most uh, beneficial farming things you can do right now in the game, as there's not many people doing it. They drop very, very good gear, very, very good ammo, and can drop very rare key cards, which can make you a ton of money. Um, so, first of all, let's break it down. Um, why are we doing cultists, man? They're really fun content, it's challenging, and they're probably the hardest AI in the game. They're better than raiders, rogues, and bosses. Uh, each cultist warrior acts as a boss in itself. Um, before we choose what map, what, what map we are going to do, I'm going to explain some things and why we choose that map. So, we have four maps here. Customs, Night Factory, Shoreline, and Woods. Woods has a 30% spawn rate, which is really, really good. Reason we don't play it is one, the AI is bugged right now and they prone and crouch very fast instantly and it's very, very hard to fight them when they're like this. Two, they don't pick up on thermals, so you can't thermal abuse them from far away and they prone a lot on woods in the grass, which makes them very, very hard to see um, and very unpredictable. Plus, there is more spawns too that can make it more complicated and harder to find them. We don't do shoreline because shoreline is kind of the same. They're very buggy on shoreline unless they spawn at resort. I've killed them a few times, but in my opinion, map's too big, too long, uh, and it takes a while to get in and out and to uh, kill them. Uh, Customs is very, very reliable. Night Factory is not even worth mentioning because it's a 3% spawn chance. Uh, so, Night Customs is the move. Why is this? So, let's just quickly explain the cultist spawns, okay? So, first of all, we're going to tell you where the cultists actually spawn. This is Crackhouse and Customs. If you want this map, this is Map Genie. Um, where the cultists spawn every single time is the boss will always spawn by this container. There'll be a minion right there. There'll be a minion right here. Minion in this corner, and then a minion roams in between here and sometimes goes around this area. Um, so, pretty much, when they do spawn here, um, they're very, very easy to kill. Another thing to know is they can spawn up here by Stronghold, and they like to rotate all the way around and then come all the way down into here. I have seen them once in construction, but it was very unreliable, and I only found one. So I think they're kind of bugged right now in construction, uh, and they're very, very, very easy to kill when they're near Krakhouse. So, before, before we start, I just wanted to note... If cultists aren't up in your run, you can make this a money run easily without even having to kill them, which is really nice with Night Customs. There's very few players on the map, and it's very, very easy for you to make money. So let's say we spawn on this side of the map. We come all the way through across the bridge, jump check to see if they spawned. You'll see him right here if he's up. If he's not up, that means there's no cultists. What you want to do is you want to come all the way around, hit Crackhouse, hit all the loot in this building. There's going to be Intel spawns upstairs next to the bookcases, and just a bunch of loose loot. You want to grab all the stuff in there, come all the way through, Go into this building, loot all the containers in construction. There'll be a construction box next to here, a technical one. Hit that as well. Uh, if you want to feel risky, you want to wrap through the train station. Another box will be here, which is really good for fuel and stuff. Grab that. Go up into Skeleton. There'll be a box upstairs that you can loot as well, which is also technical. Then you want to come back on yourself. Come all the way down. Cross across the railway tracks. Come through the gate right here. Check the given tree right here for a rare spawn. Can spawn any key card in the game or any type of loot. Come across, check inside a gas station. Um, if there is green smoke on the roof, that means your extraction's up here, so you can just leave straight away, which mo most of the time this is going to be a thing for you, which is convenient, uh, and there will be a rest one in there. If it's not up for you, what you can do is you can rotate through here. There's going to be this warehouse right here. As soon as you come in on the right, there's going to be some shelving units right there. Uh, this can spawn wallets and docks cases and all sorts of rare stuff. And then pretty much all you want to do is you can leave through here, hit the stash that spawns there if you want to, Go across, leave with this uh, extraction here if the light is on. Jump over the wall and then extract over here. You can loot these buildings if you want to, but on these runs I wouldn't recommend it. I would just go straight past them and leave because we want to do 10 minute runs. Uh, with the, the loot that I've showed you on these areas, uh, it will make you money plus it'll be 10 minute runs. There is a really good loot spawn in this building too. Another technical crate and some PCs upstairs that you can hit if you want to. But I highly recommend you keep it under 10 minutes so you can farm as many cultists as possible per hour as they're on a time slot. So, you can do this vice versa for whichever spawn you get, you got. Obviously, you can come back on yourself and do that if you got a, an extraction over here, like so. But yeah, we've covered the spawns, we've covered the route. You guys will see what I do in my gameplay after that anyway. Um, so, let's talk about the cultists real quick. So, cultists. Uh, like I said, we're going to do customs. It's actually the best map for it. The priest. Priest doesn't actually have anything too crazy, and he's very, very easy to kill compared to the warriors. The warriors are actually the biggest issue here. They're the ones that actually mess you up. Uh, to note, he does have 7 and 3 1, which is good ammo, and so is AP. And sometimes 4 or 5 ACP if you can kill him uh, when he has the vector, which is really nice ammo. Um, as far as I know, he doesn't spawn the tiger. I'm not entirely sure if he does. 
because I haven't farmed this myself and I've never heard of anyone finding it off the priest. Now, the main thing what a priest is good, he's the one that can spawn red key card. Uh, the wiki is actually currently, un up it's not updated uh, right now. Um, the boss can actually spawn labs armbands as well as uh, other armbands right now as well. Uh, if you didn't know, labs armbands are going for 5 to 10 mil in the flea market, which is really, really easy money. Um, you'll see a lot of them on the market. A lot of people are farming them right now. This money method is kind of hidden and not many people know how good it actually is. So I'm hoping when you guys try this out, you'll be like, damn ticks, this is one really fun. And two, I've been making good money from this. Another thing to note is the PvP is amazing at nighttime when cultists are up. I really like fighting players at nighttime, so you might want to try that out as well. Uh, now, that is pretty much the boss. He is the highest chance of red key card, and he can also spawn other rares. I actually got a mark key off the boss the other day, which is really, really cool. Uh, going down to the warriors now, these are the guns that the warriors can have. High-end ammo, M62, BP. As you can see, there's a bunch of very good ammo. The main thing to note from the, the minions uh, is the tiger. I actually got the tiger from the minions um one of my runs the other day and i was like what the hell this is insane as you can see right here fairness rate status um i was very very shocked as far as i know people have been saying there's a five percent spawn chance on this i don't know if it's a rumor probably is nobody really knows the spawn chances because bsg doesn't release them uh but as you can see they come with very very good guns ammo and also gear another thing to note if you are trying to cap a quest, you can get the Pestily Mask from them very easily, which is good 60k quick sell money. I have got a ton of slicks and hex grids and very expensive armors. Defenders are also very great. I've got a ton of these in my stash. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, backpacks, they can spawn mechanism backpacks and other backpacks. The wiki isn't updated, unfortunately. And items, green, black, and blue, and a mark key. Um, as far as I know, uh, I've seen someone get a black card on this, and I did get a mark key as well from a warrior uh oh sorry i got my mark key from a priest never mind but you can get these keys i've been getting like two or three keys checkpoint keys and they also have key spawns in their backpack as well as their pockets which is really cool uh so that is the warrior loot these guys are very very good uh for killing um and they're probably the hardest out of all of them to note rope uh sorry cultists won't make footstep audio so make sure you bear that in mind you will not hear them so i'm going to go through the video and quickly explain some tips to avoid dying to no footstep audio so We've covered that now. So what are we, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the start of the video. I don't want to ruin the gameplay too much because I want you guys to watch the full run live on the like like live on the video after I'm finished talking about it. So this building right here is the building we're going to be using to kill the cultists. What what you want to do is once you're in here, close this door. Once this door's closed, as soon as you've aggroed the, the cultists, they will come around the back, two of them most likely, and open the door. Very easy to kill them. It gives you information and it's very very uh, convenient for killing them. Uh, in total, there is four cult, uh, warriors and one boss. The boss is very easy to kill. Uh, two of the warriors are very easy to kill. It's just the Roman ones that may give you some difficulties. So let's go back to the map real quick. Um, so pretty much, you go in this building. You abuse the right side me peak mechanic that I explained to you guys about uh, in my previous video on the um, rogue farming guide. If you right side peak with the lean, um, you won't actually get the aggro of the AI. To note, once you do kill one, they will aggro you even if you are doing this peak. Um, they won't be able to shoot back at you, obviously, um, but they will be aggroed and probably push you. So that's why we like to use the backdoor technique to keep them, um, get information from them. So that is pretty much it. So, for example, I don't want to spoil the run, obviously, because you guys are going to watch it. So there'll be a rogue right here. What I like to do is nade to bait him out to see if he's still there, because sometimes he can roam by other players. You throw out a nade, he'll run straight across the door. You can kill him if you're fast enough reaction time. And then after a few seconds, he'll run back to the same spot. Uh, we don't have to worry too much about this guy. We can kill him later on. So as soon as you look out this door, you can snipe the boss right here and snipe the cultist minion with him. There can be a cultist here, so bear, bear in mind, be careful of that because he can catch you off guard if you're not careful. Um, so that we kill boss, kill the minion. Um, if this guy runs across, we kill him. Uh, if they don't, what we want to do is we're going to come back out the door. Check the bush here just in case the cultist has pushed up to it. If he's not, we go straight across this container, line of sight to this wall, go around the back. There's going to be another fence right here. There's a crack on the fence right there. You can right side peek abuse that to kill the cultist that's prone spamming right there. Kill him. You're good to go. Now all you want to do is you want to come around the front like so. You want to go straight across into this container right here. Check for any rogues on this side. If there's any rogues, they'll probably push you and you can right side peek them on the door. If there's not, you should be fine come back out there's going to be a rogue right here or sorry cultist right here um you can jump check it jump on the box and look or i highly recommend you come around the side and jiggle peek and you'll see him uh by chance when you do that he'll aggro so just use the door for cover to kill him very very easy and that is pretty much how you kill cultists on customs it's not actually too complicated uh even though they are very hard to kill 
the process of killing them, if you use my technique, as you'll see in the video, is very, very uh, simple. And uh, you can replicate this for yourself. Also, guys, gun preference is completely up to you. I forgot, I forgot to mention that I like to run BPA against cultists, as I think it's the best round for killing them. Uh, M62 is great. SMB is great if you want to use SVD. You can use SR, M1A. All of these guns are amazing for killing them. Anything that's high flesh damage in a high pen, uh, like a high, like a big round, is going to do well against cultists. So I highly recommend it. This is the build I would use if I was trying to keep it cheap. Uh, this is the full meta build. You can get this for around 170,000 rubles, 180,000 rubles if you do some barters. Um, it is very, very good and perfect for what we use it for. So yeah, that is the guns. Uh, it's pretty much preference on what you like, but I would highly recommend you go for a, a strong round um, as they don't wear helmets. So it's very easy to one tap them. So guys, also forgot to mention, um, gear. Gear is not too important on this. Um, I like to run Zabralo armor because Zabralo can give you way more protection and gives you more opportunities to survive from mistakes. Uh, by chance, you guys won't be able to use the Zabralo because you won't have the trader unlock. Uh, Zabralo is around 3 to 400k. I use this quite consistently when I do this as it's a very, very good protection. And like I said, I can make a lot of mistakes. Um, I highly recommend, guys, that you use these NVGs if you can get your hands on them. If you can't get the hands on them, then you can use any other NVG that you want. I like to use these, the GP NVGs. They are the best in slot uh, NVGs. I will show you my post effects with these as well because you will guys probably be curious on how to make my game black and white. All you want to do is come over to here, turn everything down like this, feather on the color grading and intensity to 100. This will make the game black and white, which makes it easier to see players and cultists. And it doesn't make your eyes hurt and have a headache, which is great. Um, you cannot, like I said, opt for other uh, night vision goggles, but that is completely up to you. Um, I've been doing this runs with TV 110s as well as uh, really good gear. Um, I recommend bringing a Bastion if you can, if, if you have got the money, which some of you guys might. You whack this Bastion with this, and you've got best protection for head. Sometimes the cultists have like AP 6.3, so you can bounce a few bullets if you do make a mistake. If you want to run that, you can go full geared. I highly recommend bringing stomach protection armor. Uh, stomach protection is pretty pretty handy. The, the, the cultists themselves actually drop this armor very well. Uh, this also covers the stomach. Um, very, very good armor. But pretty much, guys, that is it. You don't really need the best armor to do this. In my opinion, you can just do this. You could do this without any armor. Like, I could do this on stream with no armor, 100%. Uh, as long as you know how to peek them correctly, it's not that hard at all. And yeah, that is pretty much the guide, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, I want it to be as quick as possible, not too complicated and information as possible. You will see my run through of this video. Uh, guide right here and that will help you out even more obviously i just wanted to quickly break it down in sections for you so you guys understood more clearly and yeah hope you guys have an amazing evening hope you've enjoyed the guide and i'll see you guys in the next guide video i don't think they're up Open and proper next to street. what the fuck you just scared me Chat, don't say a fucking wink. Chat, shut your mouth and don't say anything else. Shut your mouth and don't say a single thing. You hear me? Only Monko W is in chat right now. Only. Shut the fuck up, chat. Call me a bitch. What a fucking bitch. You're a bitch, bitch. Where's the boss? Where's the bows? Shh. 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 Where is he? Oh. Yeah, that's three, that's three, that's three. Good, good pace, good pace. Nicky Blob, nice try, man. You did the wrong bit amount. Shh. Okay, two more, two more, two more. Oh, you fucking little bitch. Why you do that for, man? Okay, one can sit in this bush. I need him to like, fuck off. This is a bad shot. 
One's always on the left, but they were weird patterns this time. I think one's Roman. I think we got a rumor. Ah! Oh! This is a good run. This is a good fucking run right here. This is a good run. The bows. Let's go! Okay, that was clean. That was fucking clean. Don't even lie. That was clean. We got the god seed right there. That was the god seed. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Let's crack shit into the boss because the boss has got the juice. Red card right now. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Good job, chat. Come on, boss. Don't do me like that. Are you f 203? A 203? Unreal. Okay, unlucky though. Unlucky seed. Unlucky seed. It is what it is. It is what it is. That was lag. I think the server didn't spawn the right item that run. Maybe lag. Maybe. We'll play. Thank you. Yeah, God seed. Bad luck. Bad luck. Bad spawn. Bad spawn. Good seed. That's clean wipe, chat. Clean wipe. It's okay because the, the minions can also have a type. Yo! Let's go! I fucking got one, dude! Let's go! I was just about to say the minions can have a tiger. No shot. Let's go, boys. Easy fucking 9 mil, just like that. Boom! Boom! This is huge. It's behind me. Scav, I think. Let's go! The rupee! We steal rupee. There's a defender, too. Yo, what the hell? Vengeance with the five gifted subs, my man. Vengeance, thank you so much for the five gifted subs, dude. Absolute G unit right there. Absolute G unit, man. Thank you very much for the five gifters, bro. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, brother. Chef, got a gifted sub from the G. Make sure you refresh so that you don't get any ad ads. Wide hardo. Let's fucking go, dude. I've been wanting to get a, like some good shit from Cultus for a while, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. All right, we got three more to loot, right? Three more. It's not over yet, chat. We could get another one. Okay, RPK with a Golnik, right? I'm gonna drop the troop armor. That's kind of true. Drop this bitch. Pick this bitch up. Take that bitch. This bitch. Then grab this bitch. Move that bitch from that bitch. Okay, never mind. Okay, 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 hang on. Ghoul mask. They have... They, got, they have good ammo, right? Dude, look at all the defenders, bro. The defenders. Defenders are so good. That's all BP in that bad boy right there. Um, I'm honestly going to drop a Golnik check because a Golnik's honestly kind of ass. And I don't use the ammo. Unlucky on the key spawn. Unlucky. Let's go, bro. Yo, bro, thank you so much for the five gifted subs, dude. Dude, you know what's funny? I was about to say, like, it's okay because the, the minions can spawn, uh, minions can spawn good shit. Or tigers. I literally took the words out of my mouth, man. Alright, what ammo has this guy got? SMB. Um, what am I looking at here? A goal is good quick sell, though. Okay, we got unlucky. We got a checkpoint key, though. That's not too bad. Um, drop M parts. Okay. I'm getting a red card. I don't care. I've said it five times and I'll say it five more times. We're getting a red card. You hear me? 
Okay, is that all the bodies? I love you, thank you, brother. I love you too, man. Are we are we good on the bodies? One, two, hit the three, hit the four, hit the five. Are you going to keep the tiger? I don't know, bro. Tiger's 10 mil, man. 